is the PMA show. Okay, welcome back. I've been on set with Pastor Bade Ogulano. He's an amazing man of God. You know, sometimes when I when I look at him, I just I see a true Israel in whom there is no God. You know, it's just free flow. Everything is just flowing so freely. And I was uh, I was wondering how you operate in the house. You are a Yoruba speaking tele evangelist. How does what happened in your home front? Everybody should speak Yoruba. I know there was a time I did something in my house and I said for the for the next twenty four hours nobody speaks English in this house. And any the first person to speak English will pay fine. Sometimes I'll be the first person to pay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I look at I just imagine what happened in your home. So everybody in the house would, would be speaking Yoruba. Is that what is it? Well, not really. The, what happened is that there is a proverb in Yoruba that says that it is today's dogs that can chase the rabbit of today. Mm. If you bring up your child speaking Yoruba only, yes. you, they may not be able to match up. Moreover, the schools that they go to now, mm. so it's not that they speak Yoruba. But what I insist is that they must be able to speak That's Yoruba. Yes. They must be able to speak Yoruba, number one. Number two, they must have the knowledge of our culture. Okay. I believe when it comes to education, the church is meant to teach some certain things. Families are meant to teach some certain things. One of it is the culture of the land. So they understand the culture. They know how to speak Yoruba, but they don't speak it 24 hours, hours like me. Like Neither do I speak 24 I hours because at I home know, like I know that. Because I need to communicate with them, with other and that too. is what they use in their schools to bring them up. So that's why I do at home. Because I was wondering, like, it looks like a passion for you. And when you have this kind of passion, it can never end. Because there will be more people every day who are willing to drink from your spirit. And if this will continue, it means that it has to be passed on to some other people. So I feel like every day, apart from preaching to this group of people, you must be thinking of what is the legacy that I'm going to leave behind for this Yoruba-speaking audience, for them not to continually be deprived yeah, one of the things I do by the grace of God is to, I have Bible school okay. where I teach Yoruba preachers and pastors for free, both the tuition fee, the textbooks, everything free, so that one can teach coming from the leadership level, because I believe that if one can teach or lead or instruct the leaders, they can influence their followers. So I have a free Bible school for them. And we have been graduating year in, year out like that. Wow. Uh, number two, I put volumes of Yoruba teachings on YouTube. I have over 100 there. So that anybody anywhere can go over there and listen. Because we have to preserve these things just like you have rightly said. It's amazing and awesome work. It's and more. on behalf of everybody like me, I say well done. Thank you. One more time. Like you rightly said, you are the best. Thank you. Okay, I want to go to another part of your life. Mm. You are a very strange person, if I may say well. Because I learned that some time ago, I remember maybe two, three, four years ago, I can't remember. You know, um, you were giving out your churches. Like you, you built a ch church and you started uh, branches of those churches, then you just woke up one morning and say, you go and pastor that church. You go and pastor that church. And that church belongs to you. Well, somebody one day looked at me and said, ah, quite a while. God sent you to the Yoruba people. I said, yeah, I believe so. But he thought that's all I do. I said, my brother, that's not all I do. This is it. I have what you can call Ministry of Helps. What does that mean? I am sent to help people. Paul says something in 1 Corinthians chapter 3. He said, I am a foundation layer. He said, as a wise master builder, I have laid foundation. So I am a foundation layer. What I do is I lay foundation, get somebody else to continue with it. So I will start a church. I started in 92. In Lagos, started a church, stayed there for two, three years. When I see God has developed pastors, I hand it over to the pastor. I move to another place. 
I usually start alone before I got married. When I got married, I start with my wife and children. Then by the time God develops a pastor, I hand it over to someone like that and continue. And I've started one in London like that, and I've handed it over also. Wow. Because I saw one recently on Facebook, and I was like, ah, this man again. And when, when, when will you hand over what church to me now? That's my job. God just called me to help others. That's just all. Just build a church hmm. and hand it over. Let me yeah. tell you one thing. By the time I'm through with the one I have now, I'll just become a member in another church. That's ah. all. Some people will say you've lost your mind. Oh, I've always been like that. What is it for you? What's your future? What's the future? And the future is this. It's, there, there is a way of perpetuating yourself. For example, I've had about a couple of churches, about five, six, seven like that, that I've started and handed over to them. Different people. They have different course. They have different direction. Some of them are reaching the students. Some are reaching the married. Some are reaching the local people. So one is able to reach different category of people in the community. And those will continue. So after I will have gone, you see that nothing can stop what I have done. That's, the, that's just the simple truth about it. think about the government's uh, code of conduct about having pastors who pastor um, for 20 years to stop pastoring and give their church to someone else to pastor yeah, very well. their family members. Are you, you know me at all play, no? Yes, please do. Ah, you, because if you want me to <laughs> talk, I'm, I'm going to talk play. <laughs> what I see with it is I don't even see much of the government there. I see lack of leadership. I put something on Facebook and I said, which is the truth? It's a combination, it's like a riddle. Okay. I said I had the decree late. I noticed a swift compliance. Mm -hmm. And I raised my, and tears rolled down my eyes. And I said, we need a father. We, I'm not going to blame the government from coming up with anything. I will blame someone. I will blame us for not having a, a, a voice that will come up and say, go and sit down there. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? That, that's the issue. That's the true. government is not the issue. Decree will come upon decree, but you need somebody. I remember it, that, was a, that was what first came to my mind. Mm. If that man is still alive, he will come on TV mm. and say nobody must comply. But see, but you know the funny thing about this, that that kind of decree doesn't affect me because I never stay that long anyway. <laughs> I just do my <laughs> own and find my way. <laughs> I can see you're going to grow like very, very old. Like you are relieving yourself of so, so much tension. That's, that's how God made me. Wow. <laughs> are you thinking of writing a revised, a revised standard version of Yoruba Bible? Actually, one pastor, Pastor Francis, told me that I should write something like a living Bible, living Bible in Yoruba. the Yoruba version of it. Well, since he told me I've been doing a little bit of thinking about it, I pray about it. I believe in praying about something. Mm. But I feel like it will make sense, especially to communicate with the modern-day Yoruba speakers. Yes. Because the Yoruba Bible we have, one of the reasons why many are not flowing in that direction mm -hmm. is because they could not understand it. Mm -hmm. Language do evolve. Yes. We do have changes. Yes. It's not reflecting Yoruba Bible. But I will wait for God's nod to before I can go direction. ahead. I also saw one Bible, maybe Yoruba or something, that's also a new version of Yoruba Bible. Bible. But if you are used to the way the old Yoruba Bible used to sound like, you will feel like, oh, Better. this is a bit, you know. Mm. Sometimes you feel like it's a bit watered down. Even, even though you may like it, it's simpler, but it's just like somebody who has been so used to reading King James. King James version exactly, of the Bible. Exactly, and he wants to quote it the way King James 
we quote it. But you know, the bottom line is still, the people nowadays, do they understand it better? If they do understand, they do understand it, better, it better, then it's better. Mm. Then it's better. Ability to communicate, what I have in my mind to you, is what language what is, is all about. It? Mm, what is all about? Mm. Wow, thank you so much for You're sharing welcome. your knowledge with us. Thank it you. It has been an awesome episode. Thank you, but my before sister. before I let you go, yeah. I want you to please inspire our people. There are people out there who God has called, but they feel like this is a very strange call. Oh, I, I can go, this must not be God. I know, this is very strange. Somebody had a dream, a vision that is different from what others are doing, and they feel like, where oh, we accept this? This is very strange. We need to inspire people like that so that they can follow through what is in their heart to better our society. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much. This is a very good opportunity to let people know that. In all sincerity, the world is, uh, uh, let me put it like this. God made every single one of us original. You can only have one white tower. Mm -hmm. If you sound like me, they will say you are sounding like, like that, that man. man. But when you sound the way you are, then you are unique, you are different, you are not like anybody else. Mm -hmm. There is something about standing. I, I, I remember when I started preaching in Yoruba, you know, just like the general notion, Yoruba seems to be looked down upon. But when everybody started watching the program, then sincerely, I became so popular, it became scary. I will enter into a village, everybody just, I was in Balogu Market, wow. in Lagos, and people stopped me in the midst of crowd. You just really wonder. One day, the governor, one of the past governors in Oyo State was having a program, and they invited some of us ministers on the platform of what? That I preach in Yoruba. And I saw a whole lot of... Uh, uh, big minister, older ones, and they wore suit. In my mind, I was thinking like, this, why did they wear suit? I wore Agbada. And they all look like my boys. Because, <laughs> because, you, big man. Yeah, because you, you see the Yoruba that people look down upon. There is something that is, no, 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 no. Okay. When you communicate and people do understand you, the speaker of the house insisted I must talk in that occasion. Mm. I wasn't the speaker, I was just called upon to pray. You know, they insisted. Why? I'm saying that to say that whatever God has for you to do is the thing. There is always a master key in ministry. That primary call is the master key. Mm. And when you are confused and you don't know what to do, use that key. Mm. Everything will work. Mm. Yoruba, reaching Yoruba people to me is the master key. And that is why when I'm standing doing that, it makes all the difference. It opens every door. <laughs> Anybody that hear you preach in Yoruba would not know that you speak English so fluently, fluently like that. And that is one of the reasons why I have not spoken one Yoruba here. You have really why? <laughs> because I want everybody to know that, see, work like a professional. Okay. And I will use this opportunity to tell our Yoruba preachers, work like a professional. Okay. When you are speaking English, speak English all true. When you're speaking Yoruba, speak Yoruba all true. Wow. I've seen some old ministers that cannot communicate very well in English. No. And they are struggling. There is nothing inferior about Yoruba language. Mm. Stay with Yoruba, preach in Yoruba. Ability to communicate is what is important. Mm. Someone advised me once and said, Pastor, why don't you speak and preach in Pidgin English? Oh. I said, the reason is this. When a worry boy hears me, okay. he won't hear the sermon. He will hear my mistake. Yes. When some of you that can't communicate in English come on television and speak in English, we don't hear you. Oh. We only hear what the mistake you are making. Why don't you speak Yoruba that you have control of and that will help you? You ask a question the other time. Let me just chip in one or two things. You said, how do we help preach Yoruba preachers? Mm -hmm. Number one, when you watch the white tower, you will notice one, I never mistakenly speak English. I make sure I stay with Yoruba throughout. Mm -hmm. Number two, I don't show the audience. Most mm -hmm. of the time, people that are not of your religious uh, upbringing or notion, 
Once they see the audience, they cut or they change the station. Mm. But when they don't see any audience, they first sit down and listen so you to don't. you. Number three, one of the areas where Paitowa is different from others is because I don't just come around and say, Bible, Bible, Bible. Mm. Be current. Teach things that can bless ordinary people. You will go to hell. It's not all that is in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Tell the roadside mechanic to be dressing neatly in the community. It's part of the gospel also. When you mix things in appropriate proportion, you are able to reach many people. Thank you, Paitowa. Thank you. You are the best. Thank I'll you. I'll say it one more time before I close. <laughs> yeah. After me, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know what happened <laughs> is this. I am accepting it because when a genus call another one genus, okay. then it must be a genus. If you say somebody is the best, <laughs> I'm, 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 I mean, I, I have to accept it. Thank you very I much, ma'am. give you an opportunity to break and communicate to your Yoruba audience oh. in just 30 seconds. I want to be metal at so a corner. You pay both you both in your you not your ko to soro ko to ye yan ti an ba so pe yan wa asu in ti mo nso gbogbo en tin gbo mi ngbo o si yan dada o na loro wa asu ma wu en tin wa asu le bo bi poju olo ko sent olohun o le lo yo ba sane ru wa yi emi ti an bi la gugu to de wi pe ati a a ni ori ofi ati mo wo lo enu to be ju be lo sugbon olohun lo to te je pe ngba mi ti ba lo pade gan I went yan wa ma fe fo wo wo mi lori wa su yo ba na mo ni tori na mo wo ra re bi wi pe enikan ju olo ipe to olohun ba ti pe yan si ke eyan ko ju mo ko si en ti olohun o le lo ori ofe ni fe ni ko kan wa ese o that's it that's just it i think i'm just going to stop there i'll be back with you after the break that was not a bad day ogulano fight on wa show. Thank you so much for joining us. Today has been an awesome episode with Pastor Bade Ogunlano. This is not the end of the show. I'm going to ask you to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can see more of our videos. You can also like us on Facebook, follow us on social media. Let's connect to do business together. If you have anything worth showcasing, don't sit down there. Reach out to us and let us know how we can do business together. My name is Moji Alawi. I'm a musician and I love to inspire people. To inspire people, I will. Listen, I want you to um, take your mind off the struggles and the stress because life runs in binary, good and bad, up and down and all that. But there is a side of life where the grass is green and concentrate your efforts on that. Take your mind off the stress and the struggle and concentrate your efforts on the side of life that is working for you. Until I see you next week, God bless you and bye-bye. Yeah, no, 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 see that. <laughs> Believing that, okay. Believing that those who have been in the trenches survived battle and come out on the other side have irreplaceable. <laughs>